tonight on America's Hope, we talk about a national blessing for America, for the family, for the home. America's Hope starts right now. And welcome to America's Hope. So tonight we're talking about strong families and how we develop legacy-minded men in order to have the fathers in the homes who can do the right thing for their families. And that is to help their wives, help their children to grow into be productive citizens of this great nation called the United States of America. And also within that legacy, developing a strong family because it goes to reason that if you have a strong family, then you can build a strong neighborhood and thereby build a strong city, a strong state, a strong nation. Hey, Lee Rusan here. Two-time Super Bowl champion with the New York football giants. A child of the Most High God. You see, yes, I used to play in the NFL. It stood for the National Football League. Then after seven years, it stood for not for long. And thank God that now, and I believe that's one of God's favorite words, it's not yesterday or tomorrow, it's now. Now, the NFL stands for new found life. I have a new found life in Christ and I'm free to persevere even in my weakness. Husband and father who takes seriously his role as a, as a husband and the father, his wife will be a fruitful vine. His children will be like young olive trees around the table. He is a difference maker. So that's what I want us to know as men. God says, if God started a revival just amongst men, just amongst men today, can you imagine what the world would look like today? Well, God has given us an idea in Psalms 128. He says it starts in your home with your wife and your children. So I just want to encourage our men today that you are difference makers. Get your minds right. And I truly believe today God is saying the same thing to us as fathers and as men. Get your minds right. You know what's at stake. You know what you have to do. Let's get our minds right. I have four children and a beautiful wife, 12 grandchildren. And I was not a good father. Sometimes I wasn't a good husband. It wasn't until I came into the Word of God that the Word of God showed me how to be a husband and how to be a father. So one of the biggest problems we have in America is the lack of fathers in the home. God has designed for the family unit to be father, mother, and children. As fathers, we are to find out each of our children's bent, right? What they're good at, what they're interested in, what their talents are, and help them down that path. It, may, it could be musical talent, it could be technology, or computers, or science, or sports, or anything that they're bent towards. Men who totally get what's going on in America, that we are dealing with a time that men need to step up and be better husbands, better fathers, and do everything that they can do to help their children and their families to be strong and resilient and contribute to the greatness of our nation. And they are also focused on purpose and legacy and building strong families. That's just an excerpt of what legacy-minded men and strong families is all about. So joining us now to talk about a national blessing program for the entire family and for the good of America are two men who know something about legacy-minded men as well as strong families. Joining us is Joe Pellegrino. He is the founder of Legacy-Minded Men. And then we also have Dr. John Trent, who is the founder of Strong Families. Gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Um, Joe, I know you're joining us from Florida. And uh, John, you're joining us from Arizona. Two hot places in this country, uh, <laughs> but a lot of sunshine. Yeah. And we have to shine Absolutely. a lot of light of the sun onto our families. Uh, so yeah. 
Joe, let me begin with you about uh, legacy-minded men and why it's so important that we build strong men uh, in today's society. Kelly, I believe that um, all the problems in the world that we discuss, whether it be terrorism or abortion or uh, the, the issues with social justice, I believe they all come from one basic place. Men who have abdicated their role as leaders, husbands, and fathers. That has a tri trickle-down effect. To touch all of those. So they are merely the symptoms of what the real problem is. We have pushed the men out. We have told them that they're no longer needed and certainly to advocate to move away from where they are and take a, a new position. And I believe that is why we're seeing all the things that we're seeing in this world today. And so, uh, John, let me bring you in as well. Uh, your wife likes me to say Dr. John Trent. So Dr. Trent, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. from your perspective, it's important for men to help lead their families to become strong families. What does strong family seek to do? Well, I mean, uh, you're right. It, you know, it, it was uh, actually Abraham Lincoln said, you know, the strength of our country lies in the homes of its people. And, um, you know, there's a National Family Day. There's all these things that are so um, important in so many ways. But, you know, there's also a National Fish Taco Day. I mean, I'm all for that. I like fish tacos and, and all kinds of things. Um, but uh, I get the great privilege with Joe of working with couples and families all over the country and men in particular, but, but really helping you know, them uh, grab hold, even if they didn't grow up in a home that was strong. Man, our, our country needs this so badly. And so we've set up the National Blessing Day. And so that's what we get to talk a little bit about today. And, um, but you're right, it goes right to the heart of what is so important uh, in communities and uh, in our country as well. Well, you talked about it, the National Blessing Day. What is that, Joe, and how does it apply to uh, building the families in America to a place of strength and fortitude and faith and hope and love in order to carry the day, not only for what we're currently facing, but to develop a future and a hope for our families and for America? Well, we've established the National Blessing Day on Sunday, November 24th of this year. It'll be our first one. It'll always be the Sunday prior to Thanksgiving, which of course, November being the Thanksgiving month. So we only felt it right to, to identify that particular time to launch the National Blessing Day, which, which in its simplest state is basically teaching people, men, women, pastors, uh, mentors, grandparents, to use that day to honor their children, grandchildren, and mentees with a word of blessing. Now, we're not just talking about words of affirmation like attaboy and, and just keep going. We're talking about a biblical blessing right out of Deuteronomy, teaching us the, the, what the scriptures are, are telling us, how we can lift somebody up by blessing them with powerful and strong words that will launch them into the future. And that's what National Blessing Day is. But it also goes a little bit farther. We built an app. And on that app, we have the ability for people to actually record their blessing, teach them how to do it, record it, and then send it off to uh, via you know, a text message or via email to the person that they want to bless right then and there. But also do it in the churches on that Sunday where video studios will be set up to record those blessings. So it's not just about the personal one, you know, the, the personal touch. It's also about recording it for all time so that when they go astray, when they go have a challenge in their life, they can always go back to the words that that man or woman spoke over them. Words, they have the power to tear down and the power to build up. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And one of the most life-giving things spoken to someone is a blessing. So, who needs your words to give them life today? Who do you need to bless this year? Hi, everybody. I hope you're enjoying this episode so far of America's Hope. If you'd like to see it in its entirety, just click on the link below. Thanks for watching.